over the last two or three years. What I'm going to focus on today is, you know, this is this cloud in the center called network. Some factors um, to consider when you're going a any application, particularly video, across the network. Some things I'm going to go through is kind of like understand the nature of video surveillance. There's different ways that the camera is pushed out. There's the constant bit rate, there's the variable bit rate. Right? I'm going to talk a little bit about what the differences are and some of the performance requirements. How do you deploy uh, a video surveillance for 2,000 devices or even more? Right? One of our clients is Harris. Those are the, the big casino companies. is that they want to interconnect all their casinos together. Right? They, they're running into challenges where legacy connections, um, the cables, uh, the matrix switch doesn't grow, they're <coughs> running into stability issues. So they came to us and we worked with them in developing a product that allows them to scale beyond their current limitation. On top of that, interconnect the different casinos together so that they of cameras is there are certain capabilities that's built into it and how you transmit it. So we can talk about the multicast, what is it, versus unicast, and why you know, <coughs> is there pros and cons associated with, with either one. Briefly, briefly touch upon network designs as far as topology goes, and lastly kind of focus on a little bit on QoS, quality of service, which may be a buzzword or maybe a new term. I'm kind of here to debunk some of the myths. <coughs> Questions? I have a question. What does a, how, how does a multicast make your play as a familiar? Say that again? And, and, uh, Info? Yeah. Info is a multicast app phone right. kind of uh, created for research environments. Um, for the most part, it doesn't play until you have a agency to agency communications um, today. So, so some of the backgrounds, and I'm uh, uh, diversity, but some of the background today is that in the, today's internet, uh, it doesn't support multicast. And for those of you that doesn't understand what multicast is, I'm going to cover it in a little bit. Um, but there's this educational forum or entity, if you will, that says, all right, I'm going to create um, a network, a network conglomerate, conglomerate that allows the communication between agencies, between uh, EDUs, universities, to communicate using multicast, so it's more efficient. Right, so that's a separate note all by itself. So next. Right, so first of all, is camera characteristics. There's this thing called custom bit rate, and there's this thing called uh, variable bit rate. For the most part, on a TDM, if you want to search what custom bit rate is, when you pick up your um, phone at home, so you're not using um, um, bondage, I think it's using a Sol Verizon POTS line, I call it. Um, that's a custom bit rate application. So basically what that means is that each, when I pick up my phone, I'm giving a slice of a bandwidth. So regardless of whether I'm using that bandwidth or not, that bandwidth is reserved and cannot be used by anybody. And the implication of that is when I'm, co when I'm conversing, information is being translated into packets and being sent into one of the time slices and it's being used. Right? But when I'm kind of pause and think, during that time, the bandwidth is being wasted. <coughs> stuff is, like, it carries no information whatsoever. Of 
on the other hand, your operate is kind of like uh, in the new age where I have cell phone, right? It uses a variable, variable bit rate application, which means that over the cellless, uh, wireless cellular tower, when I'm not conversing, it's not transmitting anything. So that allows me to effectively oversubscribe that will back out. Okay. Uh, but what that also means is, from a provision perspective, it creates a challenge. Because in constant bit rate environments, even though the bandwidth is being reserved, right, and sometimes it can be wasted, but if I know I have 10 cameras, I know each camera will pick up X bandwidth. So I can do the math, X by 10, or X by 100. Now in the variable bit rate environments, the bit rate varies when it comes to cameras, depends on the amount of information that's changed in the picture cap capturing. So during steady state, um, say the night or e in the evening, we can the parking lot. There's not a lot of information that's changed from one screen to the other. So during that time, the information sent back may be minimal. Now, as opposed to during a busy time in a mall, for example, there's constantly people walking back and forth, cars being backed up from the lid. So the information being sent during that time is going to be much, much higher. So how do you provision and be able to <coughs> reserve a proper bandwidth um, for deployment for the camera system that you're putting in? Now when I say bandwidth, does everybody understand what I'm talking about? Okay. So here's the bandwidth, this is what bandwidth is. From a translation perspective, I think this is what you guys are most comfortable in. Comfortable in. If you have a 30 frame rate, 30 frames per second using a FORSIF or D1 encoder, <coughs> what that typically translate to, assuming I'm not applying any compression, right? Typically that translates to about a three megabit per second data time. Right? So what does that translate to in the real world? I have a Comcast service at home. The Comcast service says I can have six megs down and 768K up, downstream, upstream, okay? So that means that just this stream alone would take up about half of my bandwidth for bound. Now if I multiply that by 10, by 100, right, that <coughs> number gets tremendously large. Now if I have to couple in, if the camera I still has to go in the microphone, then I need to couple in audio sampling rates. So all of a sudden, the bandwidth requirements you're looking at is going to be enormous. And then the bandwidth is relative to the transmission media, obviously. All right, so Verizon files, they have business class, obviously have a much bigger bandwidth versus, say, if I have a DSL. Questions? That, that three megs, for the you said that, that was at D1? Or yeah, this is SIF? for SIF or D1, so uh, 30 frames. Recording at SIF, okay, so three megs for how many frames was that, 30 frames? 30 frames. Okay. Is that compressed or not compressed? For this the is not compressed. Okay. This is not compressed at all. all right. now, now, there's also <coughs> this thing called high resolution <coughs> cameras, that's 1080. Right. That pushes the spray rate out to five per stream. Basically, right? I have my house, I have local 